All right, we've got Derelict's Diary, a supplement for Merc Board by Skeeter Green Productions. This is the Kickstarter physical version here, and I will be letting y'all know that the PDF is kind of what I'll be spotlighting, even though I'm showing you the actual book. Uh, it'll be the link down in the description. We'll have the PDF link to drop through RPG if you want to pick it up. As of right now, I am not sure if this is going to get a print on demand on DriveThruRPG, but this was only for the Kickstarter, and it's got this wired uh, coiled spine here, which I like. Some people might not like, but I like it. It opens up easy, it folds back, yada yada. So, um, well, what's in the PDF? Well, the PDF's got a lot of character sheets, uh, ones that are very ink heavy and ones that are not, uh, as well as uh, for the normal characters, standard characters, and the optional characters. And there's also 30 pre-generated characters that are in the PDF. So it's about 165 pages, over 400 megs of content, uh, so that you can print out and have stuff available to play Merkborg. So, um, you know, obviously this is be exactly the same in the PDF. Uh, there's nothing different here other than, obviously, it being physically in front of me here. So it says, Derelict's Diary is a blasphemous tome filled with additional options and enhancements for core Merkborg classes. Also, some random tables and charts to give you a false sense of security. Fear makes the meat taste better. Hearken well to the secrets within, and may the gods have mercy on your soul, because we will not. Compatible with Merkborg. And we've got some robust, uh, physically very amazing dudes here on the back. They look absolutely awesome. Um, I mean, look at this guy. And look at this. I don't know what he's got going on. He's got that. He's got that thick wrestler's body going on. Uh, and he's got this massive sword. So I mean, look at this bulging muscles. Looks much like me. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a pretty good print weight. And like I said, I don't know if this will be available uh, in this form or on print on demand. But for this one, uh, it's got thick pages and kind of laminated on the cover here. So let's hope that maybe it'll at least get a print on demand version. So we're going to open it up. Now, this Kickstarter did like $3,000. I mean, this is not going to be to the quality of like a official Merkborg product, but as we know with Merkborg, if you're out there paying attention to it, there are tons of supplements for them. I think I heard something months ago that there may be even over a thousand supplements for that people have made with Merkborg. And yet this is just another one. So um, what do you have in here? You've got some more plundered corpses. You roll D66. Uh, you get maybe a broken mouse trap, red frayed twine, a spool of green thread, uh, half a rat, preserved eyeball. So obviously, you know, you have fun picking up. So it's kind of the stuff that's towards the end here of the, you know, the beginning and the end of the book. It's got some tables and stuff. So gang member name generator. And uh, you're going to have like Skinny Oscar the Shade or Sweet Pete Mac or... You know, you can roll it up, obviously. So, Smooth Oscar the Fish. So, it's kind of neat. I like that. Be able to make up some quick gang member names. Or names for your character, I guess you could use. Um, and then, um, so, yeah, with the coil, sometimes it gets a little bit hung up. But it's not too bad. we got some different weapons here. So, you roll a D8. You get a bag of 13 rats. They do 1D4 damage. And I'm thinking that you actually hit the people with the bag. Because I don't think you let the bag open and the rats come out. I don't think they're going to go back in that bag. Uh, there is a jar of bees. You lose your next turn. Fist-sized rock. A filthy pot. Um, severed human head on a chain. And uh, there's a jawbone. A shard of glass. A mental fence post. Uh, here's a list of phobias that you can roll up. And there are some pages that are just art, obviously, uh, with Merkborg uh, style that Skeeter's trying to do. And um, uh, that might be to some people's like it or not, but it's all kind of in that whole Merkborg vein, I guess you should say. So here's a list of phobias. And then here's sanity. It says roll 1d6. So salt is a rock, a little twitchy, out the, uh, where's number three? Out there, uh, normal, crazy. Uh, do I make you nervous with number six? So continuing on with kind of Merkborg and even Cyborg, whenever that's actually physically available, is some of the crazy fonts that make it sometimes difficult to read. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's just part of how it is to keep the aesthetic of Merkborg products. But we've got the table of con uh, intermittent, table of intermittent, and then we've got all the, the pages here for your, um, pretty much your table of contents. Uh, we've got unclean scrolls, so there's some new ones here. One creature is unable to move or perform any action for D4 rounds. Gremlin's Dark Dance. Uh, one may enter a shadowy area and instantly appear in another shadowy area within 60 feet. That's actually very cool. Um, so yeah, we got that, uh, unclean scrolls 
and Sacred Scrolls. Uh, Angel Tears, each round, enough clean water appears for one person for one day. Last one, each six rounds. Uh, this is cool. Last Embrace, hug a dying companion. You may transfer up to your remaining hit points to them. If you drop to zero hit points, you die instead. I would tell you not to uh, transfer up to zero hit points so that you die. That's detrimental. Um... Heaven's Eye, all companions within 10 feet gain a plus one bonus to any roll one time, used within one hour. And uh, we move on. Here's some more uh, stuff for the Fang Deserter. So I remember, and you roll a d6, six skeletal figures trying to grab me, screaming, crying, more screaming, was it me screaming, 24 blackbirds in a pie. And of course, you can see the art here is a whole hodgepodge of stuff. More things you found lying around, uh, a farmer's sickle, a blood-encrusted brick. I like that one. It can be thrown. Uh, these are just a bunch of death masks here. This is for the gutterboard scum, more specialties. These, uh, There's one that's called One Lucky Bastard. Uh, it says once per day you may can reroll any roll. Um, compulsive collector of a situation calls for a specific item. There's a 50% chance you have it. Uh, number four is people person. Four people in the world owe you a favor. You can collect when needed. And then we've got Mama Didn't Raise No Whiners. So you roll a d4. You remember being a toddler in uh, Kyrgyz. A very, very pale lady was kind to you. The taste of copper is very special to you. More Eldritch Origins. So your soul was brought through the clouds and placed on a baby's chest. Then you were that baby. I like that one. I like this one. Your first memory is of a breaking free of a spider's web. You have the scars from where you lost your other arms and legs. Very cool. Uh, for the esoteric hermit here. And then, does this seem broken to you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, yeah. It looks kind of broken to me. Uh, wretched royalty. So, further misfortunes for them. Five rats spoke to a handmaiden of Anthelia. And it's been downhill ever since. Mother said your cousin Roderick went for a walk. He spoke to Varu, and now your family suffers. Heaven, heaven is the head that wears a crown. Apparently some sort of Limp biscuit uh, lyric is been placed in the book. Makes me laugh. Heretical priests, more unholy origins. Uh, so you were within, within the palace of the Shadow King. You were raised by wolves. Angel. Occult Herbmaster, which is a character I like to play a lot of. So there's some new uh, decoctions. I have no clue what this says. I try to maybe figure it out. I looked, I took it into the bathroom, I'm like an idiot, and tried to look at it like reversed. I didn't get anything from that either. So it's obviously got some sort of secret uh, something that could probably maybe save the cosmos and the world. Uh, I like this Cat Squeezins. The name of that is cool. Eye Fluid. Um, makes you unseeable for one hour. Good against ghosts and thieves. Frothy spittle of a madman. The fluid gives you plus one bonus to one roll. Used within one hour. Uh, caustic milk. Acid that eats through skin and bones. Causes 1d6 damage or dissolves one limb. Generic non-heroic losers. Just like everyone else. Goodbye. Here's this. Now I was sitting there I'm thinking like, ooh, ooh, okay, so what do I do with this? Well, maybe it's just part of an adventure that you could do. You could come up with something and, and show this to your players as a, you know, a visual aid and say, this is where you are. There's a bunch of brambles and stuff. You're in an old temple or whatever. There's a symbol on the wall. And then there's some, uh, I'm not going to spoil this. It's actually on the, the Kickstarter, but there is some um, little bit of fiction here. That's kind of neat to get the mood. And then we've got signature items. And uh, you can roll a d20, then do it again. So you roll here and then here. So you might get half a moldy sandwich. Crack Monocle, Bag of Salt, I could, you could use that pretty well. These, a lot of these are actually very helpful. Um, seven foot roll of skin of snake skin, three hairs from a saint, a broken toy, envelope of nail clippings, ten of baby's teeth, a wolf pelt excrement, you filthy beast, I like that. A holy relic of your choice, um, three iron hard biscuits, they can actually do damage if you throw them. And then here's some more uh, fiction. And then we've got these nasty guys. You can obviously use those as uh, showing your, your players what they're up against. And then uh, another a psalm right here. Uh, all, I'm going to try to say it. All praise that Sabunish, the underworld nightmare, the black disc which stands before the sun. All praise Verhu, beaming with delight. All praise the fire which burns all, and the darkness shall swallow the darkness. And here we have a well. 
and then there's the back so not extremely long and I will I just want to point out I did enjoy this in the um, table of contents inside back cover well dot 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 so quite clever so um, it's more options for your Merc board game and uh, you can check out the PDF that's uh, you know it's got all those character sheets and pre-generated characters um, so pretty cool and hopefully it will be made into a print-on-demand book for people who missed out on the Kickstarter. So there you go. There's another supplement. Of one of many, many, many made for Merc Borg and all its offshoot games. Uh, this is going to go right along with those other ones. So there it is. Derelict's Diary for Merc Borg. I appreciate you watching.